Pi Guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up uh, HD SDR with uh, WSJT-X and Grid Tracker for uh, FT8. Uh, don't mind this here. It's because uh, I'm running my uh, screen recorder and everything. So this CPU is going to be maxed out. So anyway, we're going to be using uh, HD SDR. And I'll throw a link in the description to my website for all the information to download all these programs and whatnot. And the RTL file and, and everything. So I'm using the uh, RTLSDR.com uh, version 3 dongle plugged into the laptop here. And I have it hooked up to a uh, an HF antenna that I made up in the uh, attic. So <clears throat> we're going to work uh, 20 meters. <coughs> so I have, once you have uh, HD SDR installed and you have it up, You'll want to click on uh, US, well, USB, upper sideband. Then I'm uh, in Q input. You may be better off maybe if you want to use a ham it up or whatever. I have one, but I just figured I'd just use uh, Q input. And I'm using the sample rate of uh, 2400. So, and I don't have the automatic gain control on. So, and for 20 meters, it's 14.074. Now, I'm set up to this because I think my dong goes off a little bit. So, you may have to adjust this on your end. It all depends. Uh, <clears throat> another thing we need to do is you have to install... Uh, the software VB audio and uh, which like I said I'll throw a link in the description to all these uh, downloads so uh, um, I'll just show you the website here what you got to do So what you have to do is go to this website here and uh, just download this uh, virtual audio that we're going to need to pipe the audio in between the uh, different uh, programs. Then you will need to go to the following website here and you need to download this package here for Windows. So, and that's going to be for the uh, <clears throat> for the decoder. For uh, so we can do FT8. So then for the grid tracker. You want to come to this website. We'll just go to downloads, which I think I'm already on it. And you'll just want to download the one for Windows. So once you have all that downloaded and installed, let's minimize that. Go ahead and set your frequency up here for uh, 20 meters, for example. I was doing uh, 40 meters, uh, I think, last night there. So, once you have that set up, uh, you'll have to click on the sound card, click on the uh, VB audio, select that guy, and once you bring up the uh, WSJT-X, X software 
you'll want to go up here to file settings let me drag this window over <clears throat> go to audio and select on the uh, the virtual cable on it so let me get this guy out of the way for the time being and when you bring this uh, program up you also get this window here but uh, I'm not really too concerned about that one right now <clears throat> then for the grid tracker once you have it installed and powered up I mean uh, have it launched uh, what you'll want to do is go down here and click on the gear for the settings if you put your cursor over it it'll show you settings then go under your audio then change this and put to the uh, VP uh, audio cable so and for the map as you can see I got mine grayed out a little bit because it's pretty bright the way it was so you just you might have to play with this if you want so but I'm not going to get into all that so all right so what we'll do is we'll start this up first so we're just going to start this and uh, I have it muted on my uh, computer because the sounds annoying so <clears throat> So what we'll do is you'll just want to uh, double click on it and launch uh, the WSJT-X. So let me start this back up here so we get a fresh screen. All right, here it comes. All right. <clears throat> so, like I said, you want to go to File Settings. Make sure your audio is piped in, right? Then uh, you'll want this in the green. If it's in the red, you may have to turn your audio down on your uh, HD SDR here. So, looks like we're pretty good here. <clears throat> So at the moment, we're not uh, seeing any traffic here. So, oh, now we got some uh, messages here popping in. So what we'll do is we'll start up the uh, grid tracker. It's lighting up here on my other screen. So, takes a few seconds. All right, so here we got that. And like I said, you'll want to uh, make sure we're on 20 meters, the mode on FT8. Go to settings audio VB audio so if we get a QSO here or CQ you'll uh, see things start popping up here on the screen There you go. So there we got a CQ, the grid locations EN43, call sign. 
And if you put your cursor over it, oh, another one just popped up. So, I mean, this does work good with the uh, RTLSDR.com V3. I haven't tried it with the Hammett Up, but uh, it does uh, do okay. So, we're getting some traffic definitely rolling in now. So... But pretty simple. So I'll throw a link in the description to my website <clears throat> for a uh, for the page of all this and uh, the URLs for the downloads and whatnot and a couple pictures. But uh, hopefully this helps people out. And uh, with this grid location thing, grid tracker, I mean. If you go under the settings, I mean, you do have a fair amount of things you could do. You can uh, put your information in here and do all this stuff. So, nice piece of software. But, as you can see, we're getting some more things here popping up. Maybe if some people watch this, might see their call sign on here. So, just make sure you're on uh, whatever band you're using and whatever mode. So, <clears throat> and if you want to get rid of the menu, you can just click that button there. That'll get rid of it. So, I mean, this would be nice on a big screen or whatnot. So, all right. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one, and uh, I'll be back again.